Thank you. Good morning. I have to say it's, it's good to be back after 20, 21 years. And um, I have to tell you that I realized that I'm no longer young. Uh, I, until today, I felt quite young, although I'm almost 40. But uh, when I came here after 21 years, I realized a, that uh, it's been 21, 21 years since I left. And actually, none of you were born at the time I was here, so um, time flies, but I'd like to thank uh, the Southern School and the HMS for this great opportunity to spend a year here. Uh, I was 16 years old when I, when I got here. Um, I went into, into unknown. I still recall the, the train ride from Charing Cross to Bethlehem when I was alone, only with my suitcase, and I realized that I'm going somewhere and I'll spend a year there and I don't know where I'm going and what, what's waiting for me. So that was, I would say, the most troubling moment in my life. But it, it quickly changed and I, I, I came here and I, I spent a wonderful year with uh, my then uh, friends and um, I always wanted to come back, but I actually didn't, uh, didn't find an opportunity. So I'm, I'm grateful to the school and to group Captain Longstaff, who's sitting in the back, the defense attaché at the British Embassy in Prague, who made this possible. So, Mike, thank you very much. And I, I'm really enjoying myself. I see that the school hasn't changed much. I, uh, that there obviously has a new sports center. Uh, I can still remember the open, open uh, swimming pool, but the, that has changed a lot. But uh, the, the houses and uh, the, 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 the chapel, where we've done so many interesting events in, hasn't changed much. Um, uh, I came to the UK in, as I, I say, in a very interesting uh, period of time. I understand that I was told that you are closely following the developments on the national and international scene, so you know that we are now at a, let's say, a critical juncture when it comes to so many issues, be it, be it climate change, be it, be it uh, immigration, be it uh, the future of the European Union, where your country has uh, decided to, to, uh, to, to leave and we are now negotiating on the conditions of, 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 the, of the solution on the conditions under which the UK will, will leave the, the, the Union. But what we all hope for is that <coughs> by leaving the European Union, Britain is not, not leaving Europe. I think uh, there are so many issues we have in common. There are so many problems we have to tackle together. So it would be a pity if we severed the, the, uh, to the, to the connection between uh, Europe or the EU and, 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 and the UK. And I think especially when it comes to security and, and uh, issues I mentioned uh, before, we need to stay together, we, we need to work together and we, we need to find a solution how we can work together. Um, we uh, in the EU, uh, and that doesn't exclude the Czech Republic, we are uh, under pressure, so to say, that it feels that our citizens are no longer happy with the way uh, uh, the countries are, are run, they are looking for alternatives, they are, we, can, we can see it in France. There was for the first time when the represent of candidates of two major parties didn't make it into the second round. We have similar tensions in, 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 in the Netherlands, we see it in Central and Eastern Europe. So I think for someone who's a politician, it's on one hand a very interesting period of time, on the other hand, it's again a step into the unknown, and I can relate that to that train ride I had from, from China, because, because we are also going somewhere, we, and we don't know where, where we are going. So um, I just want to say that uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm glad that uh, I can be part of it. It's, 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 it's a big responsibility. It's, uh, it's still a challenge. But um, I still, when, I, when I work, I, I still recall my, my 10 months over here. And frankly speaking, without uh, without the possibility and without the support and without the experience uh, that, I, that I that I brought from from Southern Ireland, I would never make it to my my current position. So I'm extremely grateful to again to the school and to HMC, and I hope that uh, there'll be more HMC scholars because I think this the scheme is extremely successful. It, uh, it brings in people from different countries with different backgrounds. And I think also for you, it's, it's an interesting experience because uh, trust me, when you, when you finish and, and you, you, you go to university, and you will try to stay in touch with, with uh, as, as, as I am with my old friends from the school, and um, because you have some 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 cool memories. So 
Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you for, for, for listening to me and uh, I wish you good luck. I know for some of you, you have uh, A-levels and other exams ahead of you. So, so good luck and uh, good luck with, uh, with your future career. Once again, thank you very much. It's been a great privilege to be able to talk to you today.